Imagine opening a foldable phone and there's no crease, like actually no crease. That's the idea behind Samsung Display's new creaseless Montflex display, and it might be the most important foldable upgrade we've seen in years. What's wild is that this single piece of display tech has been linked to two completely different phones. Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold 8 and Apple's long-rumored iPhone Fold. But here's the twist. Only one of them is expected to use the exact screen we just saw at CES 2026. According to new reports coming out of Korea, Samsung is planning to use this Montflex display in its own Galaxy Z Fold 8. Apple, on the other hand, is going in a slightly different direction. Even though both companies are chasing the same no-crease dream, the actual display stacks under the hood won't be identical. The version Samsung showed off in Las Vegas uses a metal backplate. That's the one likely heading straight into the Galaxy Z Fold 8. Apple's foldable, though, is said to use ultra-thin glass instead. So even though the displays might look similar from the outside, structurally they're doing things differently. And because Apple hasn't officially revealed anything yet, Samsung Display can't exactly walk on stage and say, yep, this one's for the iPhone. Business politics at its finest. Still, this gives us a really good clue about what Apple is aiming for. Current foldables mostly rely on polymer-based layers, which is why creases are still so visible. Both Samsung's metal-backed version and Apple's UTG-based version are expected to move beyond that. So while we haven't technically seen Apple, Apple's panel yet, the Montflex display is probably the closest sneak peek we're going to get. The really clever part here is how Samsung is reducing the crease in the first place. Instead of completely reinventing the display stack, they've focused on new adhesive materials that bond the layers together more flexibly. That flexibility reduces how sharply the screen has to bend when it folds, which in turn makes the crease much harder to see. Fewer drastic changes, smarter engineering, and hopefully better durability too. Insiders say Samsung's mobile division could make a final call on this display as early as the end of the first quarter, although cost is still a big question mark. New materials usually mean higher manufacturing costs, and Samsung is reportedly testing whether the benefits are worth it at scale. As for Apple, sources are pretty clear that its foldable will use a different panel altogether, even if the end goal looks very similar. Now let's talk timing, because that's where things get exciting. Samsung is expected to unveil the Galaxy Z Fold 8 this summer, right on schedule with previous Fold launches. Apple, meanwhile, is rumored to finally reveal the iPhone Fold in September, alongside its usual iPhone lineup. Two foldables, two approaches, one big leap toward making the crease problem a thing of the past. If this all plays out the way it's being reported, 2026 could be the year foldables stop feeling like futuristic experiments and start feeling normal. And honestly, that's when things get really interesting. But I want to know what you think. Do you care more about a completely invisible crease? Or are there other foldable problems you want fixed first? Drop your thoughts below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.